a circuit from an easy square wave generator realized with a 7400 chip. Uh, the pin connections are here and the frequency is set by the value from this cap and that cap and the value from this resistor and that one. And the output is from the pin 6. I had quite a few problems to make this oscillator start. I tried for instance here to make it start on 5 volts and it didn't work. It only worked when you connected the 5 volt directly to the chip. But when the voltage was added slowly it didn't want to start. So I uh, made this experimentally, I added 12 volt to this chip and it worked properly. It generates quite a good square wave on 12 volts. Of course a chip is not made for 12 volts but anyway it works. That's the most important thing, I think. The frequency is set by the value from this cap and that cap. And at the moment I'm working on uh, approximately 1 kilohertz with that circuit. So this is the frequency at the moment, 1 kilohertz. And you can go to lower frequencies by changing the value from the, this capacitor and that capacitor and of course the value from the uh, resistors. It's an RC circuit. The RC time sets the frequency. When you want to go to low frequencies, say 100 Hz or so, you can use electrolytics and here is the indication from the polarity from electrolytics. Higher frequencies 100 nanofarad, much higher frequencies 10 nanofarad or 10,000 picofarad. And it's very important to say that I use here 12 volts instead of 5 volts. With 5 volts uh, the chip often did not want to start. Anyway, let's see what happens when we add a high value capacitor to the unit. And you can uh, connect that capacitor here between uh, 3 and 5 or between 2 and 6. And let's see what happens. I want to demonstrate it now. You can hear this sound. That means a very low frequency. That means also that you can drive with this frequency a LED unit or another unit and also a 50 Hz unit or a 60 Hz unit when you use an adequate capacitor here. So let's see on the scope what happens. I hope it will be visible and of course well you can see the line move up and down. That means that you see a low frequency. So I disconnect now again the cap and we have again high frequency here. 
was a quite good waveform in my opinion. So it's a useful circuit, I think. And you can use it for all kinds of purposes in electronics.